Now let's talk about heat absorption. We've been kind of skirting around it. All right, first we need three definitions. Um, reflection, think about a mirror, it's when heat bounces off. All right, absorption, think of a sponge, it's when heat is taken in. And emission is when heat is let out. So you can look at these as doors. So uh, reflection is when the door is closed and the heat bounces off. Absorption is when uh, the door is open and he can go through. And emission is when the door is still open, but he can come back out. I also like to think of a sponge. All right, a hard, dry sponge, if you put water on it, it's going to bounce the water off. Where if you have a sponge that's ready, it will take water in, and then you can take your sponge and squeeze it and push the water out. That's a mission. Now, absorption and reflection are opposite processes. Hmm. So a good absorber is a bad reflector, and therefore a good absorber is going to be dark. While a bad absorber is a good reflector and appears white. So remember white light's the color when you have all of the wavelengths of light combined. We'll discuss this more when we do light. Now, it turns out good absorbers are also good emitters. Think about this. Think about the sponge. The sponge is a good absorber and it's also a good emitter because it can take water in, it can squish water out. If something, say a brick, okay, and all the water bounces off, it can't emit water. So good absorbers are good emitters. So why are our thermoses shiny? All right, a shiny is a good reflector. A good reflector is a poor absorber. A poor absorber is a poor emitter. So my coffee stays warmer. At least until I get it all drunk. Now. Which car is a better reflector? Okay, is it our white car or our black car? Well, that one's pretty straightforward. The white car is a better reflector. Now, which one's the better absorber? Well, that's going to be the black car. So, which one's the better emitter? The black car is also the better emitter. Now, which car heats up faster? Well, of course, that's got to be the black car. That makes sense because the black car is a better absorber. Now, which one cools down faster? No, it isn't the white car. It's the black car. It heats up faster. Therefore, it cools down faster. The black car is both a better absorber and a better emitter. Kind of strange, isn't it? Now, you're either an absorber or an emitter, depending upon the temperature of everything around you. Think about it. When would you be a good absorber? When would you be a good emitter? Well, when you're in a cold room, all right, uh, you're an absorber when you're cooler than your surroundings. So if you're in a sauna, you're absorbing heat. If you're in a cold room, say if you grab a piece of ice, you're going to see that you're emitting heat because you're melting the ice. So you're an emitter when you're warmer than your surroundings and you're an absorber when you're cooler than your surroundings. 